Recently there has been a lot of uproar about GNOME 3 and I just wanted to highlight three of the features in GNOME 2 which make it really a good alternative for myself. First is the menu. It's very quick to see what's installed on a system in a very systematic way by just flipping through the menu. I don't know why I need these giant icons that the newer systems have, but uh, they don't come close in functionality to this menu. Second thing that I absolutely need to have is icons on the desktop. So the desktop is there for the pure purpose of putting stuff there, so nothing is as direct as creating a directory on the desktop or even adding a starter or adding a file. And I do it all the time. Uh, it jumps directly into my eye when I switch on the machine. I know immediately what was the stuff that I was working on. I don't have to search for it. Uh, and it's, it's a very direct way of communicating with the computer. Lastly, when I want to shut down the machine, I don't know what's wrong about switching off the PC entirely. I don't want to go into some obscure sleep mode that still consumes my battery power. I want to power my system entirely down and I don't see what's wrong with giving the user the option of doing that. So in summary, desktop icons, the menu and shutting down the PC are essential functions that I think shouldn't be lacking in GNOME 3. Please consider this, dear GNOME developers, as you develop the next version.